Greetings YouTube, Chad the Third here. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video to share some thoughts I've been having recently. Uh, ever since I started this channel, a lot of people have been asking me, of all people, how to improve in Tekken, and specifically, how to move up in ranked. Because, you know, there's a large, you know, large section of the internet, large part of the Tekken community that's like, ah, rank doesn't matter, rank isn't important, stop talking about rank, blah blah blah. But, uh, I... I don't, I don't really agree, right? Because I don't go to tournaments, I don't go to locals and stuff like that. I should, and you know, maybe in the future I will. But right now, ranked is kind of the only indicator of skill and progress I, I have, to be honest. And while it's, a lot of people want to dismiss it because it makes them feel better about not having the rank they want, uh, I think it does matter. I have taken on both the PS4 and the PC, and on both systems, I've made it all the way up to orange ranks, but no further. And uh, I think that's telling, right? I don't think that's a coincidence. I think it's because that's, it's a pretty accurate measure of my overall Tekken knowledge. Uh, and yeah, two things I want to get off my chest. One is what I think rank really, what a rank really indicates, right? Because I don't think rank indicates your overall skill level in Tekken, right? I don't think it does that. I think what it does show is your overall matchup knowledge in Tekken. And what I mean by that is, I'll share a story, right? So, a few months ago, uh, when I was still stuck in Juggernaut, uh, I encountered my first red ranked player. And he was a Leo main. And uh, I was really nervous going forward, because I'm a Leo main, and I was like, oh, this guy's gonna kick my ass. But he didn't. We went 50-50. I beat him in the first to three, first to five, and first to seven. Humble brag. Like, I still remember it, because it was a big deal to me. Because I was like, oh, this guy's gonna, no, he's gonna beat me up, I'm gonna learn some stuff. But it didn't go down like that. And the reason he didn't, though, is because I play Leo too, right? I'm a Leo main. I know Leo's stuff. I know what's punishable. I know how much is punishable by. I know what to look out for in the KNK stats. I knew all this stuff. So, yeah, in our match, we it was just it was 50-50, and it felt great. Uh, whereas, at that same time, or even now, if you put me up against, say, a green rank, I don't know, Kuma player, He'll fucking kick my ass, right? He'll completely destroy me because I don't know Kuma. And you know, at the time, if you put me up against a yellow rank who rank player, I just get body too because I don't know this. I didn't know the strings. I didn't know anything. Which kind of brings me to my point, right? Ranked is sort of the your average across all the matchups. That's how I've come to see it. So you might be able to go toe to toe against a red rank Leo and say a red rank Law, but you are your matchup knowledge against you know Asuka. Hurang, Lily, and Miguel is like green rank level. So all in all, your average gets brought down to about a yellow rank, right? That's kind of how I see it. So, which brings me to the point of this, if you want to improve in ranked, my honest, like my best advice is, that I was gonna make this like a top 10 tips to improve your rank, but really I have like one, and it's improve the specific matchups. So I've got lore here, for example, and I'm going to show you the difference, in my opinion, between different ranks of Tekken. So, uh, simple string. Uh, at green ranks, or at blue ranks and low green ranks, this will happen a lot. So he'll go bam bam, and you'll get hit by the third hit. Because you'll push a button when you're not supposed to. At the lower levels, this is why you lose most of the time. Because you push the button when you weren't fucking supposed to. Uh, and that's okay at first, because you're new. I, and you're inexperienced, and you don't know that this is a three hit strength. That happens, it's a good learning experience. Bang, bang, bang. That's why they tell you to expect losses at first, because this is the only way you learn. Bang, 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 you get hit. Uh, what happens at the mid to low, mid green ranks to like, you know, low yellow ranks is you block it. Like, okay, cool. I know this move. I've been hit by it enough time. I've seen it enough times that I'm not gonna push a button. So you just, ah, right? You just block it. And good for you, you're blocking it, right? That shows progress. You are now not getting hit, you're blocking it. But the next level, as you can probably predict, is that bang right you need to do that and it might not seem on the surface it might not seem like there's much difference between a player who blocks it and a player who ducks it but as i showed you like this creates huge opportunities and it also and this is really important it takes away a tool from the law player right because this is safe this is a safe option on board it's super safe and so green rank laws will just throw this out all day and you know and you let them get away with it when you're green ranks because you don't know any better. But the second you come into badges mode and you train yourself to do that against this specific player, a character I mean, you stop being a green rank, you know, against Law, right? You'll still be a green rank against, you know, Hurang and Steve and, you know, all the other motherfuckers. But against Law, you start to become more than a green rank or a blue rank. 
or a yellow rank, whatever rank it is you're stuck at. Like, you start to go up in this individual matchup, right? And that shit adds up. That shit really does add up, right? Uh, and, it, and you know, you know, the famous, another example is Eris, like, you know, likes to point out is, you know, uh, this one. Uh, 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 Junkyard, right? It's got the low option. And he's got... Oh, wait, no, that's not the wrong one. I think this is a mid option right here. Uh, 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 right? So it's like a mix-up, right? Mid or low. You don't know. And so the way you deal with it is, of course, as everyone knows or should know, you low tariff, right? Uh, and obviously it's easier said in, it's easier in practice mode. In a real match, very different, right? But you've got to train yourself to recognize that punch. It's that punch you need to recognize. Uh, uh, right? Because, you know, he also has, I think, I think I saw it. Did I saw it? I might not have saw it. But I think he also has, uh, I think it's, oh, fuck. Uh, give me a second. Uh, uh, right. So he also has that, right? So, you know, pressing down forward after that punch can net you some juicy shit regardless of what he goes for. Now, so training yourself to push down forward after that punch can really set you up for some useful stuff, right? But you have to... You have to train yourself to do it. It doesn't happen naturally. That's the point I'm trying to make to you. You kind of have to come into practice mode with the express purpose of, I'm going to improve in this matchup today. I got beat by this character. I'm going to improve in this matchup. Uh, uh, bang. Right? Perfect. Perfect, though. Right? You've got to do it slowly but surely, right? And you're... Obviously, Tekken has so many different characters, right? With so many different abusable strengths. So... But the steady acquisition of this kind of knowledge should be your goal. And if you do that, slowly but surely, you'll get better. Which is why, you know, a lot of people play ranked like it's a fucking MMO, right? Like they think if I just keep playing ranked matches, keep playing ranked matches over and over again, keep grinding, naturally I'll get better at Tekken and I'll, you know, I'll move up the ranks. And it's like, no, motherfucker, that's not how this works. That's not how this has ever worked. You have to be specific. It's far more useful to go into ranked once, right? Going to ranked. Uh, if you win a match, great, keep going. If you lose a match, the moment you lose, come into training mode. Like, okay, I lost to Law. And then you go through his move list, and you kind of go, okay, what move did he hit me with? Did he hit me with this one? No, I didn't remember seeing that one. Did he hit me with this one? Uh, uh, no, I don't remember that one. Did he hit me with... Uh, oh, okay, he did that a lot. Is there anything I can do about this? Like, uh, high mid. Uh, uh, no, I can't. Okay, can I punish that? Uh, 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 no, okay. Can I punch up jabs? No, it seems safe. Okay, let's see. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's, I didn't know I could do that. And slowly but surely, you start adding stuff to your repertoire, right? Like, but that's, that's how you improve. So literally, play ranked, and then the moment you lose, the moment you lose one, or, you know, maybe, actually it's better to maybe give him a couple, you know, don't be that guy who leaves after one. But like, you know, Play a couple, and then whenever you lose, just come to training mode and be like, okay, then what did that motherfucker hit me with? And just learn to deal with that one thing. That one thing. Okay, can't do that. Uh, uh. Okay, got a low parry. Okay, now I know, right? Like, but that's honestly how you improve in Tekken. It's not just playing ranked over and 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 over, and over again. It's literally losing and making sure that you don't lose in the same way twice right don't lose the same way again like that's the tip and obviously if you can record your matches that makes things infinitely easier because then you can watch it back in slow motion and really see what things he or she was doing to kind of you know to trick you what kind of thing that they're what kind of setups you are falling for non-stop but yeah i think that's kind of that's all i really wanted to say like this is my biggest tip i think people underestimate the importance of just the, the small things of just ducking this just ducking this or low parrying at the right time and it's easier said than done right like just when you lose come to training mode you look for the strings that they used to beat you and you just deconstruct them right you put on you know a comedy special in the background or an album you like you just sit there for half an hour just dealing with like multiple things just like all right cool uh uh okay we're gonna low parry that okay uh uh like that okay cool and you just train yourself to have like a muscle memory reaction to it okay that's a bad example okay like you know, and like, you know, actually that's a that's a good point because I think I mentioned this before, but like, you know, in a real match, you're going to fuck it up at first, right? So it's like, yeah, you'll spend hours in training mode just doing this, and then in a real match, you'll forget the first time, but then you won't forget the next time. And that's great. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I wanted to get it off my chest. 
Uh, for those of you wondering why I haven't made like a more glossy video recently, it's because I've been super busy on my end. I'm a freelance writer and I've had like a writing gig come up, so I've had to spend most of my time focusing on that. I'm also moving house soon, so yeah, I had to focus on that shit. But uh, there'll be more videos coming up soon. Uh, the next video I'm doing is a tech and service announcement on wake up options and Oki. So look forward to that, hopefully next week. Uh, but yeah, to all my subscribers and commenters and people who have been concerned or wondering where my next video is, uh, well, now you know. So yeah, uh, see you soon guys. Take it easy.